mix around. Happy with that? Hold up, don't start yet. All you need to do is get a little tip of water. Why do we need water? Good, because you have a little powder all that, yeah? So you just put it on that and just wash it around like so, yeah? Good, go on, mix. No, 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 look, look on my hand. So, so not like so. So, because you're in control, all right? Go on. Over, that's it, that's it. Thank So what season have we got in your We've got paprika. Yep. We've got meat. Meat seasoning. Meat yep. seasoning. Yeah. Um, fish and meat. Um, sauce. Yep. We got ground ginger. Yep. And we have all-purpose seasoning. Excellent. And then the final touch is we we'll take a little tip off. Browning. Excellent. A little bit of browning. Yep. Just a little tip to give some color. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the chef to do his work. This is what he's best at. You'll be not best at being a mom. Let me all them spices in. That's why I wear gloves. So is it? Yes, Daddy. Excellent. So all we're going to do now is leave this to rest. Yeah? Just leave it over here to rest. Um, and then we'll get on with the... Put it in the bin, straight in the bin. We'll get on with the chicken. Remember, we've got the peas on the fire. Yes? What's in the peas so far? Garlic. Only garlic and water. Yes? So we just monitor that. It's, it has to start boiling it, but we monitor it. Uh, if I get a cover, put on it. Okay. Yeah, cover. Just put a cover on it. And then you turn again, put some more. There you go, see that? Yeah. Excellent. Garlic, yes. I'll show you how to do garlic and some onions, alright? Okay, good. So, get the garlic. We can do the garlic a couple ways. So, you can put a knife on it. You just press. You get a click. It's good to go. Then you just dish it. See that? Chill off. Yeah. Good to go. I'm just cut like that. That's good to go. Yeah. Mix that. Mix that. Same thing with this here is oh okay. yeah, as we did before. That's what all we do. Messy. Mr. Runner. Good, under. Here we go. Yeah, good. As we go, we rub that in. Under the bottom again, so that's where everything is lying. Good. Excellent, well done. So we just turn that around. You want to get them closer? Put the glass on this thing, Tony well done. So we're gonna again we're gonna leave that to rest for about half an hour, yes? And then once that's rested, we'll get that on to the final stage. Alright? My hands are so look at that. My hands. Pulling the water in. Yeah? And then what you wanna do now is get a spoon. Get a spoon. Alright. Give it a little mix. Make sure that everything is combined. Yeah, back in, yeah.
You That's don't fall to me. Well done. <laughs> well done. Now, what we need to do now, uh, excellent, well done. No, no, we'll leave that for now. So this year, we'll leave that for now. And then all we need to do now is make sure we give it a little bit of touch of, of finesse, I call it. Yeah. The rice is... It's peas. Okay. Remember, peas. Peas is okay. Press it. Press it and see if it's cooked. If you press it and it's not pressed down like that, squish it, that means the piece isn't cooked yet. So all you do is check it like that and put it back in. That's it. Yeah? All we need is about that of salt. Yeah? Turn on the pot. Do that and then dust it off. Dust it off. Dust it off. So that it is done. Yeah? Happy with that? So that's the pot seasoned. Stir that in. Make sure everything is nice and easy. Once you're happy, just cover the pot. Thank you. I will check on the oxtail. The oxtail is good. As you can see, I've put some uh, butter beans in with some um, um, sweet pepper. Okay, and I've stirred that down because that's almost finished cooking now. All right. Um, so just just so check that. Now. So what we do is when it's just about almost finished cooking, we turn the stove down to about gas mark two. All right. So we don't need full heat now. We just need a little bit of heat for it to slowly cook. Yeah, because it's cooked already. All right. That's that. And wash out. Alright, so the rice, we've measured out three and a half cups of rice. Ready to that now? Yes, That's fine. Quickly give it uh, a wash. So, look, look, look. Take it up, stick like that, put it back down, put your hands in, no rice on your hand, yes? Put your hand in. Put your hand in. So you're basically straining, straining the um, the water, and if a few rice grain come out, it'll drop in your hand instead of the sink. Are you with me? Yeah. You see it nice and easy. Yeah. And we stop. You have a few grains in your hands. Yeah. yeah. with the rice, yes? Yes, Daddy. Remember the, the peas was in before the rice, remember? Yes, Daddy. Good. Once you stir it, that's good, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We don't over stir things. Good. Now, the last, ingredient, the last ingredient is the butter, okay? Good. And you want to stir that as soon as we get it in, okay? So again, the butter amalgamates with the rice and the peas. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mark. Okay, all we need to do now is put the pot on. Cover that. That is done, Kimor, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Good job, good job. You see, we put the right amount of rice and the right amount of water. You get a spoon, Kimor, yeah? And we can just quickly. You can just taste it to so cool it. Take your time and cool it. And just taste it to test it and just make sure that it's it's good. That's good to taste now. Taste that. How is that? Is that cooked? Excellent. So the timing was right. Good timing that Kimura. Well done. So we know we can turn it off now so we can switch it off. Yeah. So the rice is done. And we check the oxtail already. So we have to do the oxtail. Yeah. So the chicken, this ch is the last of the chicken in the pot, okay? okay? So we're gonna give that a few more minutes and then we'll, we'll just cook it down. 
Are you happy with that? Good. So, again, you can check the chicken. Yeah. That's good. I think that's good. That one needs a little bit more frying. And that one, I think, just a little bit more soaking, and then we should be able to take it out. This one's good. Yeah. Just drain it first. Drain it. Make sure it's just jiggly on a little bit. Jiggly on a little bit. That's it. That's it. We can put it in here. I'll show you what we do in a minute. All right. Once that's finished frying. So all the potatoes we put up, along with the season that we season the chicken with, Kimura is going to use this to base her um, her gravy to cook down the chicken as we normally do. Okay. Better. Right. Give me. I think these two should be good to go now. Um, yeah. So if you um, just take them out, that's better. They look like this. <laughs> Not the way to do it. That's it. But this Shake. Good. In. Good. I'm gonna put the oil in. Okay. And get these ingredients in. Alright, give this a few, about two or three minutes. And make a little gravy. Then we'll get some the chicken in. Let's throw some of this oil. Okay. That we just use to fry the chicken. That's warming up very good. So all we're going to do now is transfer this, you're going to do it, get a spoon please. Let's transfer it this here, so that's the stuff that we used to marinate the chicken earlier on. So that's the, the what did we use? The scallion. The scallion, the onion, yeah, exactly. and some garlic. And a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of pepper. Excellent. And then I've just cut up some um, some potatoes, right, to make the gravy. Have a little bit, bit, bit of body, okay? okay? So now you're going to put that in the pot. There you go. Carry on. All in, all in. Excellent. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, get that in now, get that in. Excellent, well done. Now just make sure that's all, just stir that. Make sure that's all um, good. It smells good. Good. Now make sure you time in that now. Yes. How much? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Add some of that. Okay. That's good. Stop. Let's just give it a good, good, rich flavor. That's good. That's good. Now what we need to do Kimura is add a little bit of water to get that gravy body just tip a little bit. All of that, all of that, all of that. Excellent, well done. Put it a spoon. Stir. Excellent, well done. Now all we need to do is tip a little bit of that in that. One spoon, yes? One spoon. Excellent. Now use a big spoon now to get that way. Use a big spoon and stir it. Go on, put the chicken in. Place them where you want to place them. Put one north, one east, one west, one south. That's all we want. Where's that? Where's that one? Hold on. This west. This west. There you go, well done, well done. <laughs> and this one's south. Excellent, well done. Just put them in now. Just put them in, that's fine. You know, I can't make points, it's good. Yeah, put it right there. Look, stop, stop. Put it right here, and then you're gonna do like this. And get that all on it, okay? Make sure the gravy is touching everything. You got it? Yes, definitely. Gravy is touching everything. Once you've done that, let me know. Okay. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Excellent. So everything is covered now, yes? So what we need to do now is just put the meat back in position. And what we need to do now is turn the stove down. Because what we don't want is we don't want um, we don't want it to burn. We just want it to cook and simmer. So right? five or four. We need to go on three. Three. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Oh, done. Oh, done. 
give it about the next, I reckon about 15 to 20 minutes before everything is done. I will be good to share the food and we'll tell you about the taste and we'll grade it from 1 to 10. You can put your comments below and tell me what you think about our cooking. Is it different? This is the finished product. Chicken, oxtail, rice and peas with some nice summertime vegetables. All colourful. Nice and fresh. Kimura, you did well. Thank you. Top Chef Kimura, well done. Next will be me. Next will be you. Let the needles the house spray. It was nice. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this food that you have blessed, Father, and the hands that have cooked it will receive it in our bodies in Jesus' mighty name. And it gives us health and strength in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Let's eat. Mm. Daddy, you want to change your fork and knife? Yes, Daddy. Okay. I have I like to it. No, no, I'll go change it for you and give you a, a, a baby one, okay? Some good Is that okay? I want a baby like yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get a baby baby. With the sauce. Okay, then pass it on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cook from start to finish, it's gonna take some time. Alright? And this this is this is a this is a two meat, rice and veg. It's not bigger meal cooking than what you would maybe start with though. Yeah. So you need I'll to maybe cook. start with macaroni and cheese then. In late. Because we we have a uh, yes in year seven we start baking like pastries and them stuff. Good. At, at the start and then we go into dinner, breakfast, dinner and Lunch. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what they told me when I went there. How are you going to put the juice in, Mommy? Do you want to put the juice in? Yeah. Hold on. You're doing a curry to you. So, yes, please. It's peaceful. In a minute. Thank you.